Hello and welcome to Bucks Big Wednesday powered by New Balance. For 2022, there's 57 trophy bars and championship finals. 114 teams competing in hockey, netball, wheelchair basketball, basketball and rugby league. And where are we? Well, we're at Nottingham Hockey Centre, where in the men's championship final, Nottingham are taking on East Midlands rivals, Loughborough. And it's going to be an absolute belter of the game. You can see behind me there's a lot of energy already as the women's game is about to get underway. We've had cannons, vuvuzelas and all sorts going on on the pitch already. There's a great atmosphere here. Well, ahead of kickoff, I managed to talk to both coaches and here's what they had to say. James, massive day today, Bucks Championship final against your arch rivals, East Midlands rivals, Loughborough. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of this? Yeah, it should be a good day. Uh, it's exciting. We've played them very recently. Uh, it'll be the fourth time that we've played them now this year, so we know each other really, really well. Um, but it'll just be exciting to play each other. And it's great to be playing at home in Nottingham um, with the ladies playing just before us. It's going to be amazing. And what have you made of the atmosphere already? There's been a few games and it's a, a buzzing atmosphere, isn't it, today? And it's great in this amazing weather. It's about 20 degrees. We're very, very lucky today, aren't we? Oh, it doesn't feel like the hockey season, does it? It's quite warm. Uh, it's nice. The, the atmosphere is just building and building and building. Um, it's great and it's exciting. Uh, our game's going to be the last one on. Um, so, yeah, it's really building to be quite a spectacle, hopefully. you played Loughborough four times this season. What have you made of them and what have you used... Uh, from sort of previous games coming into this as part of your preparation? Uh, well, we know each other so well. Um, a lot of the boys play EDP together and they've grown up playing against each other all the time, so there's not really much to hide anymore. Um, as you say, we've played each other three times so far um, and we just know everything about each other, so it should be quite a tight game, I'd imagine. We've both done our homework, both worked quite hard, um, so we'll see. It should be an exciting game. And what do you think is going to be the defining margins? How are you going to get the win today? Because it's going to be so close, such a tough battle between you two. I think it will just come down to the circles, um, how, how we can dictate in their circle and how we can defend in our, our own circle. Um, they've got some really talented players, as, as have we, um, and I think they'll both have the opportunity to shine. Um, but it will just be when it comes down to those big moments, can we execute them, um, whether it be defending or attacking. James, thanks very much for talking to us. All the best with the game. Thank you very much. Cheers. Jerome, uh, massive game today, championship final away. It's an East Midlands derby as well against Nottingham. How are you feeling ahead of this game? Yeah, good. Uh, it's, it's one of those days that, you know, every year people look forward to and really want to try and get into that final. Um, yeah, we've had a couple of years out of, of Bucks, so for a lot of the guys, this is, this is the first time they've played in a Bucks final. And... What a great experience, like the, the weather's come out today, the, the, the supporters are in full force, so what a better day to play a final. Uh, Nottingham as well, they're a really good contest and it's a, a home game for them really as well and they've got that home support as well, so how difficult is that going to be to play against? Yeah, I think, I think a game's a game and, and for us we try and focus on what we do on the pitch and, and hopefully let the supporters do their own stuff off the pitch and uh, yeah, we just, just make sure we keep focused on what we're trying to deliver. Definitely uh, uh, Loughborough versus Nottingham. I think we're challenging for each other in a couple of leagues and cups and stuff. So, yeah, there's a good little bit of rivalry. A lot of the guys know each other. So, yeah, so, so I think it'll be a great game today. And who in particular from your side are you looking to try and control things and lead from the front? Yeah, so we've got, we're really lucky to have had two guys um, step up to make their senior international debuts. So uh, James Mazzarello in goal. Hopefully he'll, he'll keep, um, keep the, the ball out the net and Stu Rushmere in midfield, who's also got his first senior cap. Uh, hopefully they'll start to take charge, start to step up, and, and people will look to, to really take charge of the game. Um, what do you think it's going to take for the trophy at the end of the game to be dressed in African violet? <laughs> um, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be a close game. I think it will it'll ride a little bit on luck sometimes. It will ride on a little bit of um, a matter of inches every, every, every so often around the pitch, and so it's, it's about trying to take charge. Uh, and get to the, the ball first, be first in those little challenges, be strong, be brave, and, and hopefully we come out on top. And there's been a, a few games today where it's ended in penalties as well. How do you rate your chances if it does go down to that? Yeah, I think, I think all right. I think, um, yeah, we, we've been doing a little bit of practice with it as well. And so, uh, yeah, Maz is also a fantastic goalkeeper in terms of saving, saving strokes. So, um, I, it, if it goes to that, it's one of those added added bits of excitement at the end of the day. But um, yeah, ho hopefully it doesn't have to go to that. And uh, yeah. well, thanks very much for talking to us, and all the best for the game today. Cheers! Thank you very Cheers. much. Thanks.
clearly pleased that one of them was like Well, here we are with the men's championship final. Loughborough taking on University of Nottingham. It is a head-to-head -head between two university sporting greats. And as the sun is starting to set here on the Nottingham Hockey Centre, the heat is beginning to rise and two great university institutions, great sporting institutions as well, Nottingham and Loughborough. Nottingham, of course, looking to make it a double. Well, that is it. Last minute checks. Last minute huddles. And last minute words of advice and motivation. Another exciting game on our hands here this evening. Well, you've been in, uh, celebrated, shall we say, with some of the Nottingham supporters. Was the mood quite happy after the women's victory? I mean, everyone's in really high spirits. The, the rugby are also on right now, and I've had a little look over there, and they're also in high spirits. So it's looking to pan out to be a very happy evening. Well, of course, uh, University of Nottingham won 1-0 in the Buxton ICG Women's Championship final, which finished uh, around about an hour ago now. And the sun's starting to set in Nottingham here. We have one more game. And it is this men's championship final here from the Nottingham Hockey Centre. At Nottingham, well, we saw the women play in white, the men will play in yellow. And of course, the ever-present colour of Loughborough's African Violet. Can't miss them. Also very exciting, number 16 on the Nottingham side, Charlie Axford. His sister Maddie was man of the match in the last uh, last match with the ladies won. So who knows, maybe the family uh, street can carry on. Well, you can make that happen, Katie. You, you get the choice. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Wouldn't it be amazing if it was 1-0 who scored the winning goal? What a day for their family. Yeah, what a, what a day. Well, push back, here we go. Nottingham starting this one and they will play from the back and looking to see how this goes for them. Can they make it a double? It would be the first time ever in Bucks history. This, of course, Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. 57 different trophy vars and championship finals being played across the University of Nottingham campus. The Knots men just want to make some progress forward here. 
Loughborough being extremely tight on these guys. Oh, some big uh, statues out on the pitch. Step up there from uh, Matt Blood there into the ball, taking that. Loughborough on the charge. The ball through to nobody and uh, the home faithful with plenty of jeers. Yeah, and that is a 16 for Nottingham. No. Nottingham again from the back and be interesting to see how similar they play to the women. I mean, they're starting off very aggressively, very nicely, keen to get it up in the first, well, in their half. So, a uh, good start for Nottingham. Uh, from the 23 metre line, now from the back. And that is a short corner for Nottingham. Excellent start for the Nottingham team. Great start inside two minutes, Nottingham with a first chance to pile some pressure on from the edge of the D. Great to be already making an impact here. That's what you want, isn't it? And uh, it was a noticeable theme in the Women's Championship final where the University of Nottingham, they started both halves very, very strongly. Well, I may as well get cups of tea out because they're taking their time there with their huddle just deciding on their tactics and the man to play the ball in Tom Rhodes oh it's close Loughborough get it back No, very close there. A couple of attempts there, trying to get it in, but just couldn't see it happen. Almost a fantastic intercept from Jolly Langford, the Nottingham captain. It's now being taken by um, Alex Sheldon. Back to Matt Blood. And he's decided to go forward with it. Well, Nottingham will have the ball from the long corner. And here comes Blood again. Strong ball into the D. It's gone off the backfield and with Loughborough once again still some great energy the guy on that horn my word get the man a medal because uh, entertainment value 100% here honestly the support from the Nottingham crowd is unwavering can't see many Loughborough actually well they always seem to bring a lot of support but uh I'm looking for those African Violet shirts and perhaps not as many as there was from Birmingham earlier on in the women's final. Great stop there by that Loughborough defence. I think we may have a, a few more supporters. As you can see on the top of your screen, I think they might be coming from the rugby. So, Nottingham so far in this opening quarter, pinning Loughborough back in their own half, deep in their own half really. No, Loughborough doing an excellent job to stop those crucial balls. Fantastic pa pass there, back to the opposite end of the pitch. Loughborough can really use this opportunity here. The first time we've really seen Loughborough in an attacking position with a long corner. 
And that's a short corner to Loughborough there. End-to-end -end stuff. It was uh, very cagey earlier on. It's the long ball being played in. Oof. Not hurt in the morning, I'm sure. Enough for now to come up with a bit of a trick play of their own. It's always in interesting to see what they first go for, for their short corners. They seem to take a, a long time deciding, but surely it's uh, straight from the playbook. Yeah, I mean, they'll have a, diff a number of different options, so it's discussing which one they want to go for. And the likelihood is, is that they're going to try and mix up a bit, so the first one will be their strongest one. And uh, they might use different, um, uh, yeah, different, different tactics to kind of keep uh, the opposition guessing. Oh, just very close there. Just skimmed past. Wow, that was agonisingly close for Loughborough. And it looks like they've got another shot, another short corner for Loughborough. I feel like they should be playing rock, paper, scissors in the middle of their head all day to decide what they go for. No, whether they go for the same thing again or try something different, we'll wait and see. Nervous wait for Nottingham as uh, Loughborough look to tee this one up. Again. Very, very narrow miss there for Loughborough. Just batted away by Nottingham. Nottingham really looking to get this out of their, their quarter, their third, sorry. Excellent stop there. This is the uh, second penalty corner. Well, Loughborough doing well to put the pressure back on Nottingham here. This uh, through Rory Penrose, moving the ball from left to right, coast to coast, end to end. Nottingham with plenty of bodies behind the ball and Already a couple of quick substitutions at uh, eight and a half minutes in. It's a bit flat at the moment. Yes, we just need to get some more, more height there. I think it's difficult. Loughborough is, is so tight on them. It's very hard to get that movement. You have to constantly move to free up some space. And that's difficult when uh, players won't leave you alone. Excellent pass there from Loughborough. Oh, I'm just going slightly off the sideline there. Well, like we saw in the Women's Championship final earlier on, the University of Nottingham's women's team put the pressure on early on and Birmingham started to get a bit more momentum and control of the ball themselves. It's a similar sort of pattern in this game already. Yeah, Loughborough did a great... Uh, Great time uh, deflecting now, the, that hit there. Matt Blood, number 159. I'd love to know where the players get their ideas for their numbers from. 159, very specific. I'm lucky there for not. Sideline ball from uh, Thomas Finnegan. Played around the back, very nicely indeed. They're trying to work their way into the D, but it was a good tackle from Nottingham. Loughborough still with the pressure.
Coming back for the long corner to Lockerven. Across the back to Gibson. Just off the uh, edge of the deer. It was a good flick on. Yeah, that was some very nice work from Lockerven outside the deer there. Really good work. Gonna put some pace on the ball now as it skims into the D. Back with Nottingham though. Certainly see a few more bodies piling in now. Some of the other sports local to us here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre just finishing and they flood into this championship final which has Nottingham interest. So much sporting action. 114 teams competing in Bucks Creek Wednesday, powered by New Balance. banners that everyone is uh, producing today. You can see them all on the other side of the pitch. I'm a big fan of homemade banners. Some great work as well. All the old bed sheets or whatever else people have rolled out for this. It's a typical Freshers, uh, freshers job making the, uh, the team banners. Not that easy to draw on a, a bed sheet though, is it? If you've never tried. I don't want to use paint or marker pens. Difficult challenge. Yeah, I leave, I leave the freshers for that. I reckon they must use paint. That's what I go for anyway. A good effort from Leopard just killing off a, a Nottingham stick. Again, great use of the back markers there. Great control coming in from. Good pick up there from Leopard. Excellent passing there from Knotts around the back. Coming another shot at the goal. That was very close. Some great control from the aerial ball at the moment. This uh, Ben Hooper on the charge for Loughborough. Back to Meekin. Still some uh, University of Birmingham supporters there in the red. And what is that sign saying? Captain Cuddles for Loughborough. I guess that reference is Stuart Rushmere. Somebody's gone to a great deal of effort. I don't know what thickness of card that was, but it looked good quality. Good fresher work, I guess. Absolutely. I don't know where that inflatable dinosaur has gone, but I saw him a little bit uh, waterlogged. I think I have a feeling this will turn into a very tight match as we saw earlier um, with both teams having players um, in the GB EDP which is kind of the development program um, for the senior teams I mean we're likely to see uh, some of the players perhaps from from here today as part of the England Commonwealth Games squad you would imagine yeah, so for the Luffer team, we've got um, Fabio Reinhardt, who is a Switzerland senior international. Um, so he might be one to watch for this game. He is number two.
We're also very lucky on the Nottingham side. We have an excellent goalkeeper who is currently in the GP EDP system again and has European and World Cup prospects. So fingers crossed for the Nottingham team that he can keep the goals out. Well, it's worth noting uh, both goalkeepers are absolute giants. Uh, Oliver Smart for Nottingham, but James Mazzarello is, uh, is absolutely enormous. His head is pretty much hitting the crossbar in the goal. He can't be far off seven foot, can he? Close so far in this opening quarter, not much left uh, in the opening 17 and a half minutes. Uh, do we take a pause? Been a clean game as well, no uh, foul play or dangerous play so far. The referee in both of these championship finals hasn't had to pull those cards out of the back pocket, or the umpires rather. work here uh, from both sides. Loughborough just trying to get into the goal and provide themselves with some more opportunities. And it's another 16 for Nottingham. Just good use of the width of the pitch there. Unlucky because that would be a lovely, lovely ball into the D there. Well, there's uh, plenty of baby blue shirts and I'm assuming University of Nottingham ties out there. Uh, it's still ticking over from both sides, but that is uh, the end of the first quarter. And it is nil-nil here in the Bucks men's hockey championship final. Up for nil. University of Nottingham nil, and Katie, nothing to choose between them so far. No, nothing at all. Both teams again working really, really hard. Similar strategies um, we can see in the Nottingham play from the women. Um, yeah, and again, posing up to be quite a nice, nice game. And what do you think? Penalty flicks in this one? I want penalties, I'm not going to lie. I need the drama. I think the drama is good for it. It makes for good TV as well. So um, I hate to see the heartbreak. But uh, I love to see the elation when somebody wins. So. I hope you don't see my heart break. Well, you've, you, your heart's already full because the, they've well, already won one. So. They've already won one. Yeah. Can't get greedy, can you? But, or maybe you can if you. Well, like I don't know. But, uh, it would be nice. It would be nice. It's quite a grudge match between two big sporting universities, don't they? I think uh, Nottingham were they not the uh, sporting university of the year for two or three years running and. Loughborough, obviously, an icon of university sport as well. No, most definitely. I mean, yeah, Nottingham were Sports University in 2019 and 2021. And I'm pretty sure the title does run between Loughborough and Nottingham. So it is a, it is a tough competition out there. This is a bit like uh, Rocky versus Ivan Drago. I don't know if you know the Rocky film series. No, you're looking at me very blankly, but... No, sorry to disappoint you there. It's, uh, it's too big head-to-heads if you haven't seen I think it's Rocky Four. you should watch it so iconic films if you want to get motivated for your next hockey match that's what you need to watch I'll take some notes um, got a sideline from Love for that and a great stop there from Matt Blood a lovely ball straight into the middle that was peachy wasn't it yeah that was lovely to watch not a Backs against the wall. Oh, great tackle from Loughborough, though. Just at the right time as well. And they have to find some space down the right wing. Loughborough working really, really hard in this day. Oh, and just missing out on that goal. Just not quite getting his stick there. You 
see how close uh, that last goal was. Unfortunate for Loughborough. And Nottingham back on the attack once again. It's quite nice. It feels quite atmospheric now. The sun is just setting as well. No, it really, really does. I mean, what a lovely day and what a lovely evening. You can't complain, really. This is, you know, us Brits, like, I'm surprised I've not seen somebody walking around without their shirt off at the moment, but it is barbecue weather, isn't it? I think, give it time, I think if not win this match, you might see quite a few people without their shirts on. Nottingham pressing into the D and... Oh, just missing out on that opportunity there. Yeah, we're going to get the free hit and great defence there from Lafra. And it's Nottingham's ball once again. Nottingham still pressing and trying to pin Lafra back. And that is a short corner there for Nottingham. Well, you can see the cheers, plenty of cheers as well. The horn's still tooting and the home crowd supporting their team here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre. That is the short corner, again they go into the huddle. And looks as if that was won by Lewis Tipper as well. there you can just see on his launches uh, Nottingham's Harry Croft Baker shot coming in and a wonderful goal there wow from Nottingham wow what an excellent start well we'll need to check the replay on that because it was some wonderful wonderful quick thinking and I appeared to be Lewis Tipper you can just see here in the middle well he came from the left hand side and what an excellent deflection that was into the goal fantastic Nottingham take the lead here in the men's championship final Loughborough did an excellent job just to kind of get the ball in and get going back up the pitch. Well, there haven't been too many opportunities in this game and it is taken until the second quarter for a side to break the deadlock. Tipper um, is actually a former junior international, um, so plenty of experience in that uh, high pressure and forward situations. He's certainly used all of that quality to hit home that goal. And Loughborough just sitting deep a bit now and letting Nottingham come on to them a bit. That was an excellent pass from the other side of the pitch down and a nice drive. In towards the D, great stop by Loughborough. Croft Baker still coming forward. Oh, that was a great tackle. Maybe not. I forget the free hit. Lovely ball there using the width of the pitch. Coming back with Loughborough, back into possession, this time through uh, Penrose, trying to find some space down the fringes and through the middle, good hit into the middle. Very unlucky there, that was an excellent, excellent attempt there. Well it was a good shot wasn't it, Tom Morehouse, number 11, 
The ball came in lovely from the left wing. There's so much space, it was great tracking off the man, wasn't it? Yeah, just slightly off target, a couple of inches, and that would be right. Just uh, still trying to find some space. And that's Connor Williamson there in the middle, passing back out towards Carrico Baker. And back again. Really, again, using the, the back markers here to get the ball moving. It's an excellent work. That blood, Jenny forward to Karen Soffa. Oh, surely the foul. Bit of a protest from Fabio Reinhardt, but uh, of course Nottingham get it. Oh, that blood just caught napping. Lack of communication there on the right. passes trying not to make any mistakes that's another 16 to Loughborough and that blood just stuck losing the ball great to see the University of Birmingham still here in support as well enjoying the day certainly yeah exactly great to see Reinhardt from the back and Still going. Two African violet shirts on the back and all. Oh, unlucky there, that was almost another goal for Nottingham. They're getting close, aren't they? Very close. It's a great battle between the two teams. Down the left touch line from Loughborough, running forward with it, and that is a great goal for Loughborough. Yeah, that was a fantastic goal, perfectly paced there. Ellis Robson plucking up in the space and doing excellently well to finish that. My word, this is going to be some game. Well, it'd be great to see a replay of that goal because how did Loughborough find the space down his left wing? It was Ellis Robson picking up the free ball and rounded the goalkeeper, Oliver Smart, so, so well. Now you can really hear the cheering in the background. Everyone very high in spirits. Just working that ball around again, taking their time, looking for the space. Exit interception there from Nottingham. Well, there, once again on the attack, and that is a lovely bit of running, isn't it? Captain JJ Lankford. Yeah, Nottingham will be uh, keen to get another shot here. Creeping towards half time, and we've uh, already had a couple of goals. This is uh, good, and we talked about maybe getting penalty flicks at the end, and well, we could still be in with a chance of that. Yeah, definitely. Nothing in pressurising high upfield in defence. Barney Vidal. Trying to break away. Lockwood 
did an excellent job there to um, find some space. And that's a sea of yellow. Yeah, it's just no space really at the moment, is there? trying to tee themselves up this time through Ben Hooper couldn't quite get the shot away the free hit already given and running down this right touch line again Johnny Lankford partnered with uh, the man at the back Connor Williamson these two just playing a bit of table tennis at the moment as here comes Lankford through the middle and again what could have been a lovely pass into the Making it, but the not sit the wrong corner. Great defense there from uh, Williamson high up field, he still has it. Trying to trickle it back. And that's a short corner to Nottingham. I thought that went in for a moment, but no, short corner. Close to the post, wasn't it? We'll take a look at it again. And this was some lovely running. Connor Williamson finding his way in the opposition shooting circle. And my word, I thought it had bounced off the base of the goal. It was close, isn't it? Well, this is how Nottingham scored their first to open their account here in this men's championship final on Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. Can they do the same here? Let's see what they can do. From the back, keep an eye out for the man, Lewis Tipper, who scored the first. It's that Loughborough... Ends, wasn't it? I think it potentially could be a flick, and I think it is. It is a penalty flick awarded to Nottingham. Wow. A chance for Nottingham then to try and it's get back in front. The man, Connor Williamson, number 45, lining this one up. No, he's got a um, He's got a lot of experience as a GB EDP under 21 at Elite athlete, currently in the uh, GB EDP system, and he's represented England in under 16, under 18, and under 21. So high hopes for him. Well, we just saw that Loughborough goal from Ellis Robson. Luke Tipper got the opening for Nottingham. The big man between the sticks for Loughborough. And that is and an, in the back of the net. And an excellent goal there from Connor. Exactly what Nottingham would have wanted. Well, we said before, James Mazzarello is a big man. He's an absolute unit. But he couldn't do anything to stop that penalty. And, I mean, what, what a cool head you must have to be able to you know, deal with the pressure and, and perform out of a crowd like this and get that. A home crowd as well, all the added extras of that. And seeing the women win just uh, an hour and a half ago. They didn't have much time to compose themselves, did they? They were seeing the women run, uh, win and run straight onto the pitch for their warm-ups as well. Plenty of time left for Lockheed to make an impact though. Come to the end of this opening half here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Down the left, well, this is uh, how the left got their opening, but that was a great tackle, wasn't it? From Nottingham. Sliding all the way in there. Loughborough from left to right, just like that, into the deep. 
trying their chances here. Not an excellent work getting that ball. And again, Everton defending. It's been a good game. Close between these two sides. Again, let's go from one end of the pitch to the other. Coming from deep, isn't he? He's not afraid to, to run it from the fence. You can just see there, Matt Blood offering that, that uh, back ball, really, really key. And again, another drop back to him. Just helps prize open the defence, doesn't it? And find the holes. Brings Loughborough forward a bit as well. Yeah, defence doing a great job, but. Uh, no providing opportunities here. Well, we are on the cusp of half time. Loughborough down the left with James Meakin. Still trying to find their way. And how are they going to get that goal to level it? Very good job there, looking at ball. Isaac Farron. Great work there from left back. And that is another goal from Loughborough just to finish off. Well, how on earth did they get that score? We're going to have to take a look at that again. because they did so well. It was a great bit of control, wasn't it, from Morehouse? It came back, it hit the back of the net, and it was Morehouse that started the move that got the equalizing goal on half time. So that makes it in this men's championship final. Loughborough two, University of Nottingham two, and it is edgy stuff at the moment, and considering the some of the five previous finals already on this pitch today there has barely been any goals we've already had four in this opening half very very exciting game looking for what's to come oh we're still on course for those penalty flicks yes yes we are i'm not sure how i feel about that i know you're excited but i'm not quite sure i am i could see the nerves in your eyes as i said that then this was the uh, opening score, and it was a lovely finish, wasn't it? From Lewis Tipper, and he, they call him Lewis Tipper for a reason, I think, because he tipped that into the back of the net. Tip by name, tip by nature. This Loughborough's response a few minutes later, and it was Ellis Robson that did well to round the defence, round the keeper, and slot it into the back of the net. No, yeah, Loughborough have been really quick at turning it around. As soon as they've you know, come back to the centre, they're, they're off and, and on the attack. And I think it's important that Nottingham don't get complacent and are ready for that, uh, you know, that counter attack. Well, Robson had four yellow shirts and the goalkeeper in front of him, and he managed to round them all. Well, this uh, was the penalty corner. That resulted in the penalty, which Connor Williamson took, and no surprise, he absolutely leathered this into the back of the net.
Well, this is the uh, equalising goal. Great control from Morehouse between the legs, nutmeg the Nottingham defence. It came back to him and a strike for home to equalise on half time. Well, that is half time here. Loughborough 2, the University of Nottingham 2, the second 35 minutes coming your way in just a second. But for now, take a look at this if you're interested in Bucks Super Rugby. Well, here we are, change of ends, Loughborough will get things underway with a pushback. It is Tom Ferris, number 41, just uh, warming up the ball in his stick. This is going to be a very exciting second half. Who is going to take home the win, Nottingham or Loughborough? No, it's getting quite cool this evening, so I don't think we'll have uh, heat as a major problem as we did earlier with the women's match. Yeah, it's almost lovely conditions, isn't it? How hockey should be played. Some very aggressive play from Loughborough to start off the game. And a Nottingham 16. Nice little aerial there. Great charge for Nottingham from Imre Gerritz. Coming back inside now and just tackled, but it uh, hit the body of a Loughborough player. So Nottingham have it again from the free hit. Good block from Loughborough. We're just looking to try and get that out. Good switching up there of the pitch. Just trying to change the direction. Here we go now. Another Nottingham 16. Taken by Connor. Being patient at the start of this 
second half. They can see that goal to level the score just on the cusp of half time. Loughborough will be going in delighted, but they have to keep coming from behind so far in this game, don't they? And I wonder what the message would have been from both coaches at half time. Exactly, because effectively it's 0 0 in their eyes. Got to win the half from both teams. Loughborough on the charge. Out That's to Ferris. Trying a bit of trickery in. And that's a long corner to Loughborough. Coming back again, this time to Gibson. Gibson going on his own, trying to get into the D. Just brushed to the ground and maybe Nottingham have some space on the counter. Still charging, but it's intercepted by the opening scorer, Ellis Robson. Just beautiful conditions to play hockey in now. Again, Loughborough just being patient around the back, waiting for their chance. Did really well to work into that sort of position. Loughborough again, still with the ball. Good. Team working really, really hard. Oh, well, that was a great ball in, wasn't it, from Gibson? Straight in front of goal, it just opened up in front of him, but they couldn't get the flick away. This is it on the replay. Oh, that was an extremely strong shot in. 16 taken by Connor. Great ball there, just going to get himself out of the corner and left there. Managed to get hold of that ball. Still charging Nottingham. Just managed to withstand that period of Loughborough pressure at the moment. Plenty of people out there enjoying the good weather. And of course the hockey as well. It's been a great atmosphere all day here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre. Uh, not just need to use this opportunity. Try and uh, get themselves strong on the attack. Great intercept there from Loughborough. Not sure about the ball. Lovely tipped on to Finnegan. Finnegan into the D. Great feet there from Connor Williamson, avoiding uh, getting a foot for a short corner. And that was smart defending, wasn't it, from Williamson? And a foot from Loughborough means that is Nottingham's ball. Um, Amber, she's our sports officer for UOM, sporting her glitter. She also has some uh, green and yellow Crocs as well that she often brings out for Big Bucks Wednesday. I love, love a pair of Crocs. Perfect weather for Crocs. Really. It's always weather for Crocs. To me. No, I agree. Always weather for Crocs. Nothing impressing and a bit of a slip and trip, I think. There, just uh, Charlie Axford. Wouldn't it be something if he could get the winning goal like his sister in the women's game earlier on? We mentioned this before.
strong run. But it's Lockerbie who intercept it. Locker doing a fantastic work on um, in the defence and Nottingham trying really, really hard to be creative in there. Well, this uh, opening period to the second half gone a bit flat, hasn't it? We've seen some good periods of play from both teams, but at the moment, nothing to ignite the fires. No, a, little, a little bit of energy might be lacking here. It's tough though because that first half four goals not too often you see that happen in a hockey final yeah and, and all the players are, are working really hard i mean all the players in the first half of the pitch so nice play again striking across one two and he's got to try really really hard to try and get through that lucky player and lucky steals the ball They come down this right wing with uh, Reinhard. Excellent tackle there. That was from Charlie Axford, so let's see what he can do. Axford with an almost superb run. Get the free hit though. Great use of the width there of the pitch. Good use of his wings. Nottingham. Well intercepted by Loughborough though. Just uh, trying to tee up some space and it's uh, across the pitch. It was a great ball. Yeah, Loughborough seems to be creating space down that right hand side. Fantastic quick thinking from uh, Archie Foster there in defence. Well, it's close, isn't it, really? You get a sense of the uh, magnitude of this game because for some of these players, it could well be the last time they play for their university. Certainly for some of these players, it will be the last championship final they ever play. You just know how much it means to them. for Nottingham to potentially win the women's and men's championship finals in the same year, the first time they've ever done it, would be truly magnificent. What a real opportunity there for, for Nottingham. Great save by Loughborough goalkeeper James Mazzarello. Well, we said he's a, a giant. He is also an England international, so... Uh, that was also Well, he's uh, made a great save there. Could be a match-defining moment. It's, of course, not just a tack where it, these sorts of games are won, and particularly in finals where they're so cagey, the defence really important. Nottingham across the face of goal. Yeah, Nottingham really, really trying there, forcing that ball towards the goal. Hoping to get the goal out of this. Ten minutes into this second half, looks as if Nottingham are about to make a couple of changes. from Loughborough. And a second, not quite. So. Yeah, it didn't go where it was supposed to, did it? But Loughborough still have it. Penrose again and doing well. Side. 
Ben Hooper. Oh, coming back for the hit and taking their time to lay it back and try and move the defence out of the deep. Into the middle, and what a goal that is for Loughborough. My word. Oh, that was a fantastic goal. Absolute rocket, and there was nothing the Nottingham defence could do about that. Such bigger on the ball, nobody could get in front of it. They saw the opportunity and they took it. Well, we'll take a look at it again. Just trying to work out who that came off, and I think it could well have been Ellis Robson who got the goal earlier on. No, Nottingham now really keen to try and get a goal, equalise that score once again. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because Loughborough have been behind twice in this game. Nottingham, they've been leading and lost the lead twice this is the first time they've gone behind how can they respond here some great play there from Loughborough keeping that ball away from Nottingham working really hard pass over to Penrose Penrose looking lively once again to Hooper this time another great bit of footwork there from uh, Penrose well, just in the last couple of minutes Nottingham has certainly come under a bit more pressure haven't they no, most definitely they need to uh, ignite their fire a little bit find some find some more energy Great work there between the Nottingham team. Oh, almost excellent pass that. Plenty of uh, green jumpers supporting Nottingham here in the crowd Loughborough is just starting to press really high at the pitch aren't they and keep no. that pressure on Nottingham no they're really doing a really really great job we've got excellent formation around the back um, leaving plenty of options um, to pass to Nottingham, excellent work in defence there. And the Nottingham sideline as a result. Super Hooper, another great sign. I'm assuming that's for uh, Loughborough's number nine, Ben Hooper. Oh, Sheldon on the charge. For Nottingham there. Not going to be far away from the end of this third quarter. I, know, I can still hear the Nottingham fans. They have plenty of support for our men. Oh, great ball into the middle. Just couldn't control it. It came in at such pace. It was Karen Sopat that couldn't quite get on the end of it with the flick lovely long ball well taken by Hooper super Hooper indeed
Well, they just seem to have a lot more pace on the ball at the moment, don't they? No, they really do. I feel like Nottingham might appreciate the little couple minutes um, break at the end of this quarter. Well, they need a bit of a reset, don't they? Because they've got to try and get some momentum back in their favour if they're going to be able to close this lead. Well, that is the end of the third quarter and Loughborough lead three goals to the University of Nottingham's two in this men's championship hockey final on Bucks Big Wednesday. Bucks Big Wednesday, of course, powered by New Balance and the African Violet faithful very happy with their African Violet bucket hats as well. Uh, we will be back with the fourth quarter very shortly, but uh, what a great game this has been. And Katie, the first time Loughborough have taken the lead in this game in that third quarter. Yeah, um, I mean, they've been extremely, extremely strong. Um, fingers crossed that not will be able to As you said earlier in the last match, anything can happen. Well, anything can, and uh, I think most likely Nupra will be the happiest going into that break, won't they? Yeah, no, Nupra definitely looking the ones uh, slightly more energetic, so fingers crossed, Nottingham and find some uh, extra fuel at the time. Well, that was the third goal for Nupra. This is a great angle to see it. It's a long strike in from Biddle. And it was indeed Ellis Robson who got the flick on at the end. Well, this is it. The final 17 and a half minutes. Well, I think it slipped us by a little bit in our commentary box here, but the goal that Loughborough scored on the cusp of half-time was actually disallowed. So it is two all, and we are still heading towards penalties at this stage. We are completely flummoxed here. The heat has got to us. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been, it's been a long old day, yeah. Um, a lot of hockey. Too many sticks to the head, I think. Nottingham on the charge then. Can Loughborough or Nottingham manage to snatch a late one? We saw it was in the 65th minute in the ICG Women's Championship final where Maddie Axford got the only goal of the game to take the win for Nottingham. Here come Nottingham. Great ball in there. Sharp pass in. Well blocked by Loughborough. Ooh, lovely bit of play. Here they come. Now Loughborough on the run down to the goal. Right hard. Oh. They might still be in with a chance here. The strike in. Oh, great save from the goalkeeper. Excellent work from Oliver Smart. Excellent work there from the Knotts defence and a well played goalie, Ollie Smart. Well, it was almost a, a great shot in by Rushmere 
the captain for Loughborough. And Smart did really well to get back to his feet to save the rebound shot. Nottingham having to try and run this one out from deep again and just keeping it ball to stick at the moment. I'm lucky I thought, um, I think Harry Croft Baker thought that that drop ball was on there. Still down the right this time with Rushmere. Loughborough inches away. Still in with a chance here. It's, it's getting tight. With Finnegan, and you can just feel the pressure mounting on Nottingham here. Great to see so much support here and everyone having good fun. Loughborough looking to bring that ball down the wing. Again, Loughborough just using their back markers again, just passing that round defence. And a great intercept there from Nottingham. And a wonderful aerial. I'm just taking their time to reset this ball. And that is a 16 for Loughborough. Well, the ball just uh, spinning off the end and Loughborough are going to get a chance to try and press from deep once again. A couple of pink shirts out there, Nottingham Trent in the house. Starting to get to dusk now as the sun begins to set here in Beeston at the Nottingham Hockey Centre. It is two all. Twelve and a half minutes left. Well, that's some lovely skill from Molly Harper still going with the ball. Out to his teammate and Runs it off the end of the pitch. Again, Luck will take the long corner. Back to the defence. Oh, this set. Uh, Swan flicked on down the right to Rushmere, the captain. Coming into the game ever more as we get towards the late stage. Bit of control and opening into space. Good skill as Loughborough flick it into the D. Oh, did it come off a foot? The umpire says play on. Oh, that is great from Gibson to keep it in field. Oh, great, that great work there from Loughborough. Still managing to keep it in. It's so difficult to sustain this type of pressure for Nottingham and here comes the penalty corner. Well, they deserved it, the amount of pressure. Yeah, Not Loughborough will most definitely be trying to score from this one. Well, they'd warrant a score in this, this quarter, wouldn't they? Because they've had so much possession and pressure and territory in the final 15 minutes of this game. Let's, what, let's see what they can bring out here. Well, time on the clock. Just up over 10 minutes to play. Coming out to play it in will be Ben Hooper. Here comes Loughborough. 
and it, that is a goal for Loughborough. What an unbelievable strike. Loughborough in the back of the net. And Loughborough take the lead. Now it is 3-2. And there is a lot of cheers from the African Violet supporters. That is a lethal strike from the captain, Stuart Rushmere. No, what a fantastic shot. Nottingham now showing real urgency to try and get that ball in the back of the net. Well, it was millimetre perfection, wasn't it? He didn't have much room to get it past Oliver Smart, but he managed to do so. And Loughborough lead 3-2 here in the Bucks men's championship final. That was something special, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. They deserved the goal, really, didn't they, against the run of play? It was uh, all with them. They've been excellent. I mean, for them to even be able to keep the ball over in the sideline just moments before they scored was something most definitely should be reward rewarded for that. Again, Loughborough on the attack once more. Looking for another short, seeing what they can get. Why Nottingham come? This game still isn't over. They just need a sustained period of possession, really, don't they, Nottingham? Just, just enough possession, get them some short corners. And uh, they've still got a chance. Down the right. Good tackle coming in from Loughborough. Nice layoff from Nottingham. Trying to get it into the D and calls for the hit all. Nottingham just stuck. Putting it out and it was the captain JJ Langford. Uh, uh, Loughborough 16. For a second, it must look as if it came off a Loughborough stick, but. Well, the aerial got a bit of fair height on that, and Nottingham coming from their own half down the right wing. Just losing possession. No, both teams are working so, so hard. Loughborough trying to hold on and Nottingham trying to draw a level. Well, this is better from Nottingham. Keeping the ball a bit more and trying to find some space much better I think this is probably uh, giving a little bit of a spark to try and get that get that goal well, it's a, a huge moment for them they need to get at least one goal here a goal will take it to penalties this would be a, a legendary result wouldn't it if Nottingham could take the win it would be the first time that the University of Nottingham have won the Bucks double in the men's and women's and it's another 16 for Loughborough well, from the back then Rory Penrose has had a great game for Loughborough with the aerial well, lovely uh, reverse flick Loughborough trying to pin Nottingham back at the moment. Loughborough doing an excellent job of holding off the Nottingham players. Excellent skill, skill work from there. I think it was Connor Williamson again. Excellent game for Nottingham. Scored a goal as well.
Yeah, another aerial uh, from Loughborough. They're really enjoying their aerials today. Just an easy way to send the ball downfield and relieve pressure, isn't it, I guess, from their point of view, keeping this lead at 3-2. Yeah, you don't have to worry about any bodies getting in the way. Great read. Meekin down the right into the gates. Off a Nottingham stick and it would come back to Loughborough. Loughborough just passing it back again, creating some more space for forwards. Well, Nottingham into the final four minutes are chasing this game here in the lead of Loughborough at 3 2. Nottingham here really trying to get a shot on at goal, creating some opportunities. Well, they were searching, weren't they? They have the free hit. Um, and that is a that is a warning in a period on the bench for Rory Penrose. Well, that could potentially play into the hands of Nottingham. It's going to be a real fierce finish for them. Yeah, this could disrupt things. That extra man and really could pay dividends, but. Nottingham will have to act quickly if they're going to make anything of it. Penrose will be off for the majority of the rest of the game. Rushmere. Well, taken down, and here come Nottingham on the rush. On the run, out of half a bit of space there. Trying to keep it in possession, they do still have it. Just under three minutes left on the clock. What can Nottingham do? You can feel the uh, tension, can't you? There is uh, plenty of Nottingham supporters here. It is the home turf, home turf at the Nottingham Hockey Centre, and it's in the deal. Oh, so unlucky that that could have been. Still opportunities though. Well, a lot of subs coming on and off and Oliver Smart has come off for Nottingham. I guess they're putting uh, 11 players outfield to try and get the goal to level it. Do we think that's what's happening here? Because Oliver Smart is uh, off the pitch in goal for Nottingham. I'm not particularly sure on that one, to be honest. Well, I think they have got 11 outfield players and they're really trying to go because why? Uh, Loughborough only have nine outfield players at the moment with that is possibly Penrose in the bin. No, Nottingham really needs to produce something special here. Well, this could be magic. Lots of cheers from Loughborough supporters, though, because they get the ball back. Another lovely aerial there from Loughborough. Well, from Nottingham's perspective, I guess you're in it to win it. And whether they lose by five or lose by one, it's still a loss. And Oliver Smart off the field, 11 outfield players on for Nottingham. This is courageous stuff on home patch. Resilient defence so far for Loughborough, but... They've got nothing to lose. And that is a... Nottingham. Well, it is a penalty 
corner do we think? I think that's yep, what. I think that is a short corner. It's a short corner for Nottingham as we are going to the final minute of the game. So if they don't, yeah, if they don't get this, I'm not sure whether I'm not opportunity. I love the tension. Well, Nottingham have 10 players around the ball on the edge of the D. There is one man dropped back in their own half. If uh, if Loughborough come away with this and they ping an aerial ball downfield, I mean, that is it's game over no matter what, isn't it? This is uh, do or die for Nottingham here in this Bucks Men's Championship final. Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. It all comes down to this. Loughborough lead three goals to Nottingham's two. Loughborough are now back up to a full 11 as Rory Penrose is back on the field. The short corner for Nottingham. Well, how on earth? Missed out on that half, that short corner. It, the ball's still in play. They had three attempts. They couldn't quite get it in. It's still with Nottingham, though, in the corner. Karen Soffa. Had a few moments, it says. Well, it's been lost. It's still with Nottingham. How have they got that back? Loughborough hacking away at it. The long, long ball being downfield. And that is the full-time whistle. And despite Nottingham's efforts, the men's championship trophy goes back to Loughborough and they are electric here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre no, well played at Loughborough excellent play from both teams well the pitch is littered with sticks littered perhaps with Nottingham tears as well they just couldn't get a shot away into the back of the net in that final short corner and it is Loughborough that win here my word what a finish yeah what a finish what a tense few moments that was Nottingham just left it a little bit too late well it could have gone so differently Loughborough who came from behind twice in this game the disallowed goal on the cusp of half time as well. This set uh, the opening goal, and it was uh, Nottingham that took the lead. A well executed short corner. Louis Tipper with the goal. I'll take a look at this again. It was a lovely, lovely set piece move.
just to check this uh, Chris O'Donnell doing the presentations again, yeah? Well, this, uh, the goal for Loughborough that won them the game, it was, uh, again, from the penalty corner. Beautiful strike from the captain, Stuart Rushmere, to take the win. Well, we've had uh, flares and smoke out there on the pitch and uh, the players sliding and diving into the supporters. Loughborough, those that have come here, well, they've cheered mightily, haven't they? And they seem to be enjoying themselves. No, most certainly. I think they might be invading our uh, night out this evening. Yeah, Loughborough love a good night out, don't they? Well, we'll be just waiting for the medal presentation the trophy presentation and then I will absolutely be heading down on to the pitch to talk with the Loughborough coach and a player of the match and Katie we've got to decide on a player of the match and uh, perhaps well Ellis Robson got two goals for Loughborough Stuart Rushmere the captain got the decisive goal who would you choose I honestly, I couldn't tell you. I think both played fantastically. I'd maybe say Ellis Robinson for getting two. But other than that, I think Stuart Rushmere's goal was so perfect. I, I think it'd be rude not to. Well, Stuart Rushmere will get to lift the trophy and will get to lift, lift the Player of the Match award as well. So Stuart Rushmere, our Player of the Match for this Men's Championship final on Bucks Big Wednesday powered by New Balance commiserations to Nottingham of course they uh, will be absolutely gutted it's such a shame as well after winning the women's earlier on as well I'm sure there will be a few celebrations and uh, support tonight either way no most definitely and you know what the men's team they've got the women's uh, the women's win earlier to celebrate with so they can have a good night out as well. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm a big fan of the African pilot bucket hat, I'm not going to lie. Hey, it's very nice, I must admit, I'm a little bit jealous. Yeah, it, uh, it definitely looks good. Well, as we uh, await the medal presentations, uh, just waiting for the final few bits of preparation on the pitch. Great to see the celebrations between friends and university mates for Loughborough. Sports Advisory Group members for all their support 
Thanks also to our match officials, our tournament directors, and volunteers for their amazing work getting this show on the road. Congratulations to both teams on what was a great final. It really was a, a thrilling match. The presentations are going to be made by our tournament director, Chris O'Donovan. And the first awards will be to our match officials, our two umpires, Chris Dernan and Christian Felix Adams, receiving commemorative medals. And now our technical officials coming up to receive their plaudits as well. Our volunteers really are the lifeblood of our sport. Well done to Nick Coo, Scott Jones, Tom Roberts, Craig Langton, Ben Deakin, and of course our tournament director, Chris O'Donovan. We would have no sport without our officials. So a big thank you to our umpires and to our technical officials. Next we've got the player of the match, and that is awarded to Loughborough students, Alastair Richmond. <laughs> Fabulous performance in the final. Well, we are just awaiting the presentations. That's a Nottingham team photo handling over there. Yeah. Let's award the silver medals for the runners up in the Box Men's Championship 2022. Let's hear it for University of Nottingham. Well, here come Nottingham. Getting the silver medals. It's a, a great effort, really. No, both teams played absolutely fantastically, and uh, it's a, it's a long road to get to the Big Bucks Wednesday final. So um, it's a great achievement to be here today. I'm sure, regardless of the results, uh, Johnny Lank for the Nottingham captain will be absolutely delighted to be taking home a silver medal. It could have gone either way, really. It was close, wasn't it? But only a silver medal for them this year. No, next year they will be fighting hard to try and get back gold, I'm sure. University of Nottingham. Well, they don't look too despondent, do they? To get a silver medal in the Bucks Men's Championship final is a great result. And now we will see the winning side. Loughborough get their gold medals. I think they're going to be celebrating for days. And what a lovely evening. James Meakin, Ben Hooper, Rory Penrose, Tom Morehouse, Barney Bithell. Tony Stanley, Ellis Robson is scored two in the final. Our man of the match, Alistair Richmond, Richard Swan. Well, it's Thomas a great Gibson, result, Thomas isn't it? Gibson, and Tom Ferris receiving their well deserved winners' medals. Excellent work from the Loughborough goalie as well. He made some great saves, didn't he? James Mazzarello, the trophy being held by Stuart Rushmere and it is Loughborough that take the men's championship title for 2022. An amazing result, the final score 3-2 here at the Nottingham Hockey Centre.
And that is almost it, but just for now, I'll make my way pit side to go and have a chat with the Loughborough coaching captain. Uh, Katie, thanks very much again joining us on commentary. It's been great to have you. You've done a wonderful job. Oh, no worries. Thank you very much, Scott. Well, stay with us. We'll be pit yard in just a moment. Here with Loughborough captain uh, Stu. Stu, congratulations on a great win. You are the uh, Bucks champions for 2022. How good does that feel? Yeah, no, it feels unbelievable. Um, just really, really proud of all the lads. I mean, we went 1-0 down, 2-1 down. And yeah, to come back from, from going down twice is a pretty special feeling. And you uh, disallowed a goal at just before half-time as well. How gutting was that, thinking you'd level the score going into the break? Yeah, I think it was really gutting. Um, to be honest, we just put it behind us straight away, um, focused on the next half. There was no chat about it, um, which is which is really good from us. Um, but yeah, obviously it was a, it was a little bit frustrating, but probably the right call from the umpires. And a uh, lot of support as well, the uh, African Violet travelling support, and that was so good to have on the sidelines. They seemed to be enjoying themselves at the end as well, didn't they? Definitely, yeah. I think they were a bit late, so missed out on a bit of the first quarter. We were all a bit worried, um, but now nah, they, they really turned up today and, and got us through that as well. Um, so a big thank you to, to all of them that, that came here. Yeah. Uh, what do you make to uh, Nottingham as well? They made it very difficult for you. They were hoping to get the double today, but you sport the party a little bit on home turf. Look, they're, uh, they're an unbelievable team. Um, obviously, we lost, lost them the other week, rightly, played very well. They played very well again tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, just thank you to all of them. It was, it was a really good final to be a part of. And how are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Not too sure yet. <laughs> well, thanks very much for talking to us. That is it from the Nottingham Hockey Centre and that is it from Bucks Big Wednesday Hockey. Thanks very much for tuning in. Nottingham take the women's title and love for the men's. Until next time, good night. <laughs>